today. Well, it just it seems like we just started the new year, or we just started the new church year with Advent and Christmas, and already we are now moving along to Passion Week, Holy Week, Passion Tide. Uh, the celebration, but the participation once again in the suffering, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a there's a somber note to this night of all nights because we know what's going to happen next. Hear these words from Mark, the 11th chapter. And they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments on it, and he sat upon it. And many spread their garments on the road, and others spread leafy branches, which they had cut from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed cried out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed to the king of our father David that is coming. Hosanna in the highest. Well, I've long since abandoned trying to figure out what Jesus had on his mind. Certainly he knew that that entry point into Jerusalem pretty much sealed his faith. And he knew that what was in store for him, whether there were palm branches and loud accolades about this one now coming in to save the world, would not save himself. Jesus knew about all those kinds of thoughts. And so we, uh, we think about that this night as we reflect in the church here decorated for, for Lent. We think about all the things that our Lord must have gone through. And his suffering and his pain, even in the midst of celebration. It's Passover, a celebration of Israel, where the angel of the Lord passed over the homes of, of the Israelites and then set them free be able to cross the sea of reeds with Moses as the lead. So it is that Jesus comes into Jerusalem and he seals his faith. That faith, though, is, is our faith. It, faith. It's your faith. It's my faith. It's the faith of the whole world. Because, you see, we are condemned for what we have not been or what we need to be. But it is Jesus who rides on into Jerusalem to match every threat, every uh, anguish, uh, every every kind of thought that we have, this God answers our prayers with this Jesus in the flesh. And so we give thanks this night in the midst of, uh, not all the trimmings, because we know that Palm Sunday turns to Passion Sunday, and then we await the, the days ahead. And finally, as we move into the Tritium, uh, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, the Saturday Vigil, and then finally, Easter, the Easter story. He is, he is not here, he is risen from the grave. So may we be comforted this night in the assurance that with palm branches in hand, as we wave to our Lord as he enters Jerusalem, he comes to save each one of us. Shall we pray? Gracious God, we thank you this night that you have indeed brought to us a Savior, the Savior of the world. We thank you that you have given him to us to know, to love, to cherish as a partner pilgrim in this, in this life that we now face. And in the midst of life, even unto death, we know that this Jesus has set his jaw to go to Jerusalem to suffer and die for each one of us. So God, please uh, let your spirit be upon us so that we can fully appreciate his sacrifice, his servanthood, his love for humanity. So be with us this night. Guard us and keep us. And all these things now we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with garments and palm branches strewn on the ground in front of him, as he rides into Jerusalem, we celebrate. Hosanna to the Son of David. Our King is coming soon. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And may God bless.